Chris Chinock here for Display Central. Uh, I am in the Fraunhofer IIS uh, stand here at NAB 2014. Uh, what we're looking at here is a uh, model. Uh, these little, uh, I guess they're Legos, or um, yeah, they are Legos model here. Uh, and w this is going to be captured by an array, uh, as you can see over here, of little tiny cameras. This is a 4x4 four four array. Uh, basically of uh, a smartphone cameras uh, that are going to capture this information uh, this in a, uh, an integral imaging or a light field kind of capture system here. Uh, all this is, is a, this, uh, a bank of, uh, of recorders and processors uh, down below and that's all fed to a computer system and it's going to allow you to do a bunch of uh, very interesting things which we're going to show you uh, in just a second. Hello, my name is Frederick Zilli and I'm head of group computational imaging and algorithms at the uh, Moving Picture Technologies Department at Fraunhofer IAS in Erlangen, Germany. What I want to show here is the light field view renderer. So once we have captured the scene with uh, 16 cameras, we can apply very interesting effects in post-production. So for instance, we can freely navigate here and change the viewpoint um, so from one position to the next position. So, and um, I can show you this in preview quality. Um, when I move this uh, circle here, we can freely move. Uh, but um, please note that this is a low resolution proxy now, just to show uh, by what amount of parallax we can navigate within the scene. And uh, then when I have found my uh, final position, I can go back to high resolution here. So. What I can do in addition is to uh, change the focus and for this looks like this. I can, uh, when I click here, uh, then the focus of the scene will be set to, to that object. So the same can be done here. I put the focus here or I put the focus here on that wagon. And um, I can of course also change the amount of uh, the, the size of the synthetic aperture. So um, I can change it to two, and then the deeper field becomes shallower. So this can be used then um, to track the virtual camera movement and to track the virtual focus, uh, the choices of the focus puller. And then uh, once we have uh, recorded all the settings, we can render it in highest quality. Great. Thank you, and, and, and I think another point we want to make be clear is the, the whole point of gathering all these 16 images is so you can create either a stereo pair for 3D rendering uh, or a multi-view set of images for uh, autostereoscopic viewing. So that's one of the, or, or a 2D file for that matter. Um, but the ability to, cap to capture with all these 16 cameras and these angles gives the director, the filmmaker, all kinds of creative uh, opportunities to, to manipulate this information uh, post-production instead of having to make those decisions uh, on set. So, so that's pretty much the story here. Uh, and we hope to, I guess they're going to be working on this with new cameras and more demos, and uh, we'll keep you posted. Yes. Okay, uh, great. Chris Chinock for Display Central.